Hello everyone, Connor Whitmore here again with another video for you on the Naughty Step channel. And today I'm going to be doing a live review of the new tune from EEPROM, Fleshnet. The second standalone single from him in 2020, following Secret Technique, released in May, which was also put out on Deadbeats, and I'm excited. It's been a good while since I covered him on the channel. Pretty sure the last time was my review of his Icon EP, which placed in my favourites of last year. So yeah, here he is held in high regard. One of the most forward-thinking, if not the most forward-thinking producer in mainstream bass music music at the moment, no doubt, you know, whatever genre or style it may be, he always manages to wow in some way, so uh, yeah, no idea here again what it's going to sound like. Perfect for a live review. Hearing Fleshnet for the first time here, I will play it once, maybe a couple of times through if needed, and I will be summarising along the way as well whilst it's playing, and then at the end, I will give my overall thoughts on the tune. So yeah, pretty simple. Let's get to it. Eprom Fleshnet. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> that is loud. Fucking hell, that was loud. sound is just by itself that would be so jarring but it works so well oh oh, oh. so subtly dark and powerful like fuck it's so good oh Perfect example of quite minimal, not doing a lot, but the power of the production really, really carries it through. Like, it feels so imposing without doing all that much. Do you know what I mean? Some of these sounds are so good, like so rounded and detailed and kind of fleshed out and full. Vocal samples are fantastic as well. And there we go, 15 seconds left. There is a big part of me that wishes uh, that it would uh, progress a bit more because, to be honest, I, I I just want more of that. But no, I mean, I enjoyed that a lot, you know, so, uh, as I said, quite minimal, not a lot going on, but the power of the production, you know, I talk a lot about personally preferring having amazing production and the ideas not being all that stand out or like really like out there and uh, particularly memorable as opposed to amazing ideas, you know, really, really kind of out there and the production is a bit shoddy, you know, that for me is a perfect example of just how imposing and how much body and personality a tune can have just through the production alone, like it's just, you can just feel it here, it becomes a part of you, it just kind of etches itself and works its way into the very like fabric of your being, man, it becomes a part of you. And that is, uh, that's exactly what you want from music of that kind, you know. It just feels like it's here, like it's a separate kind of being or uh, entity, just kind of in amidst me here, just, yeah, just being a thing. Definitely wish it was longer. I mean, what we do get here, I'm really enjoying, and you just want more of it. And, you know, three minutes isn't that long. Three minutes isn't that long, so uh, I'm just kind of sitting here wishing we'd got more of it, that it could have been expanded, that the story could have been told a bit more and kind of fleshed out and we could have seen a mutation or evolution on that idea, just kind of thinking, you know, ideas firing off in my head as to how it could have bloomed and flowered in a new way, but nah, what we do get, I can't lie, as a combination of vocal samples and really rounded production and awareness of the timing of everything as well, which is just so pinpoint here. The placement of all those different notes and just how they're rounded off, the volume of them, the tone, 
it's just, I mean, for what it is, it's um, it's getting me going. And you know what? I have heard it once, but I do want to hear it again because for me it's so enjoyable, but also just to see if, you know, second time around I glean anything more, you know, more details on a uh, second listen, if you get me, uh, revealing themselves. But uh, yeah, let's do it. From the first moment, it just kind of swallows you whole, engulfs you. Vocal sample game, so on lock. Oi! Oh, those kicks, man, fuck me up. Oh! Oh, the way that is cut. Oh, oh, fucking come on. And in these kind of interlude moments, uh, just always hanging on a knife edge, and you can really feel that. These sounds are just... I feel like I'm in space. Man. Man, man, man. That is genuinely one of the best songs I've heard on Deadbeats for a long, long time. Yeah, I mean, I think I've said pretty much everything I want to say here, but one thing I did notice uh, the second time around was just how delicately poised it is at points, you know, just hanging on a knife edge, teetering, kind of just so delicately uh, positioned and in the balance, a lot of it. The suspense of it is just uh, gripping, gripping stuff, which is... Quite amazing considering, again, just how minimal it is overall, but again, that is power to the production, which is just so complete sounding here, you know? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't do loads, it isn't a showstopper by any means, but I mean, just the power, again, of the way it's put together, the quality of the production and how it's assembled, all of that. And also, actually, I want to give a shout out to the uh, artwork, which is, you know, quite similar to the track in a way, in how kind of detailed it is, I think, and just the kind of HD feel of it, you know, really, I mean, this artwork is like better than my vision, even with glasses on. Quite visceral and violent as a picture, you know, I don't think the track was quite that, a bit more subtle maybe, but maybe that'll make me hear it in a different way, in a new light going forward, but I mean, bottom line, everything kind of pulling together here, artwork, music, just everything about it pretty much I'm enjoying. And uh, yeah, even thinking again about the music, there isn't really anything I would change. So um, just says it all for how much I enjoy it. Eprom, Fleshnet, big. But yeah, there we have it, my initial thoughts and reaction to the new tune from Eprom, Fleshnet released on Dead Beats. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. But what did you guys make of Fleshnet from what you heard, if you've heard it already, whatever? Do you have any favourite parts of it? Did you, in fact, not enjoy it as much? Let me know all of your views, thoughts and opinions in the comments section down below. If you did enjoy the video, then be sure to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell along the way so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video to the channel and my social media accounts and the new Discord server are linked below. And if you want to find some more live reviews on the channel, I will link them right here. But beyond that, keep it naughty. If it's naughty, then you know. And I will see all of you legends in the next one. Peace.